Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday night, May 16, 2023, about 947 out here along the West Coast in the state of California? Looks like the latest earthquake activity shows a 3.0 down here uh, into the. Let's see exactly where that's at. 3.0. Let's, let's get specific in the Haiti region. A little bit of earthquake activity striking there west of the Puerto Rico area. The latest quake here on the globe. Speaking of Puerto Rico, what do we got going on out here in the Puerto Rico area? A uh, small little bit, little bit of activity kicking up here over the last 24 hours. Mostly uh, some twos and threes. No major movement. We did have an earthquake here off the coast of Honduras into the Gulf of 4.2. Uh, that earthquake coming in looks like uh, late last night. Nothing uh, else following that movement, but still a little bit of activity showing some uh, a little bit of heightened movement up here across the northern edge of the uh, Caribbean plate. Also one earthquake here in Mexico. That earthquake striking earlier uh, this morning. It looks like a 5.0 at 10 kilometers deep. All right, the west coast area, northern California to be specific. What do we have going on here? One earthquake here in the southern end of the Gorda Escarpment. Looks like uh, 3.0 coming in about 9 o'clock this morning. A little bit of activity off the southern or the uh, northern end of the San Andreas Fault as well with a 2.0 coming in late last night. As far as the Lake Almanor region goes, we're kind of watching this lately, but the uh, last earthquake was a 2.3 about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Nothing further showing up. Um, so for that matter, let's just kind of want to chime in here and see if uh, we got our seismograph stations working yet across the Mount Lassen area. Uh, doesn't look like this station here is working. Uh, that's, that's just south of Mount Lassen. Uh, we'll check out this other station here. Um, still, folks, still. I'm not for sure what's going on with this, but... Uh, they have not fixed their activity, or at least their webby quarter, from about the 11th. And that is when the earthquake activity kind of struck up here a few days ago there around the uh, Lake Almanor region. Um, it's a little odd. Definitely a, li a little odd considering today is Tuesday. And you think they would know if their stations are down, right? Look at that. From the 11th here a few days ago. So... Not for sure what's going on, but uh, you know, there's there's no access to the data stations up here, as far as the recorded activity, and this goes pretty much all across the park here for uh, the Mount Lassen area. Some of these stations not even showing up at all, uh, but what is is just uh, still from the 11th of May. So there you go. That's our uh, a little bit of tax dollars there at work. All right, uh, Pacific Northwest. Not a whole lot going on through that throughout that area. Let me check the uh, trimmer department here tonight and see what's going on here. 16, 16 epicenters, Northern California. And this has been this, about the second day here of uh, trimmer activity here, roughly at the southern end of the Cascadia. And that... Uh, kind of spells what's going on here back building up along the plate boundary the Gorda plate here and also along the uh, um, uh, well northern end of the San Andreas Fault we have seen a little bit of activity here across the Eureka region into the deeper areas over the past couple days so that would be the uh, trimmer activity adding stress upstream all right, um, let's see, what else do we have here across the region? Northern edge here of the um, North American and the Pacific Plate boundary. Couple threes coming in here to the Alaska region, nothing big. And in fact, nothing major going on across Alaska currently. Do you have one earthquake into the, uh, uh, let's see, a pretty deep earthquake into the uh, uh, Lucian Trench of 4.3. That earthquake striking at 242 kilometers deep. Now that is a, uh, a pretty deep earthquake into that area. Um, as you can see here on the globe, that's raised off of the 
uh, surface here fairly nicely. Haven't really seen any surface adjustment, but uh, I guess we'll watch that area considering that deeper activity uh, that we've seen earlier today. Uh, not, dude, not not a whole lot of activity here across the Western Pacific. Uh, a little bit of activity south of Tokyo. Looks like a couple fours coming in there from early this morning. But uh, goodness, this looks very absent of earthquake activity. So uh, let's see what we got going on here across the area. Uh, mostly smaller microquakes across the Philippines southward. Also a 3.3 coming into the Java Trench, 5.0 near Papua New Guinea. But uh, yeah, looking looking at the map here, I would say uh, it's actually taking a little break here across this area. Not often does it do that, but uh, occasionally I guess it does. Most of the time this is a very active region across the uh, plate tectonic area. Uh, around the Mediterranean and uh, well, it looks like Turkey area still seeing some activity. Uh, across the area today nothing else going on in the northern Atlantic up into the Iceland and Greenland area but we do have a 4.7 in the mid-Atlantic Ridge it looks like it's just off the plate boundary here let's see if the uh, USGS is reporting that yep looks like they're reporting that as a 4.7 just to the west of the Vimma uh, fracture zone Quite a few different fracture zones out there in the Atlantic Ocean. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here for movement. South America area showing some activity. Uh, cluttered, fairly good clutter of earthquake activity across the uh, Peru Chile Trench region. Some twos and threes kicking up. Uh, also, Middle America Trench showing some activity. It looks like nothing major going on, but uh, some uh, typical activity there going. Uh, into the deeper regions of the uh, subduction zones. As far as the Fiji area and the Tonga Trench, we got a 4.9 coming in earlier today, but that's about the only earthquake here in this region at about uh, 10 kilometers deep. All right, uh, working our way into the Bay Area of California, south of the Hayward region, we do have a 1.6 near the Union City area. Uh, not seeing any major swarming going on across the uh, area of California currently. Uh, even the extreme Southern California area uh, looking fairly minimal, but um, uh, not for sure if I'm ready to call this a swarm or not. We did see a little bit of uptick here around the Imperial and the El Centro region that is just off of the uh, Imperial Fault here in Southern California. Showing uh, some earthquake activity, mostly in the very small microquake range uh, with some ones and twos kicking off here. Not quite a swarm yet, uh, but we'll continue to watch that into this area of Southern California. It's very close to the area that did see uh, quite a bit of swarming there over the last couple weeks or so south of El Centro. Uh, so we'll definitely watch that closely. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, got a couple earthquakes here outside of the region. Uh, let's see what we got here for the Yellowstone area. Uh, mostly, uh, well, let's see here. There is a, all right, let's see what that is here. Got uh, a little odd earthquake. Well, I don't know if that's earthquake activity or, or interference here around the Hebgen Lake region. But notice this activity not really showing up across regional seismographs getting something similar close to the Maple Creek area but this could be um, maybe thunderstorm activity I don't know uh, that looks a little odd maybe uh, a geyser activity it did show up slightly on the Holmes Hill station uh, a little bit further to the east right there but uh, but that was about it so sometimes we get a little bit of odd earthquake activity or some type of geyser activity kicking up here but also thunderstorms can pop up and produce that type of signature uh, looking further to the east here though we did see what looks like a earthquake activity around the eastern edge of the Yellowstone region near Parker Peak that's going to be this uh, signature showing up right here 
Now that did show up across the promontory of Pelican Cove and uh, slightly across Mount Sheridan area and the Little West Thumb region, but it looks as though that was centered somewhere further, much further east here of this area. It uh, doesn't look like uh, anything showing up though further east. So again, these uh, guys really don't report too much of the earthquake activity occurring across the, uh, the mountain range here to the east of Yellowstone. So kind of hard to say. Uh, the rest of the country here, fairly quiet. So looking at the big picture here, folks, where would you say the uh, activity is kicking up at? To me, it kind of looks like it's uh, wanting to kick up here on the North American continent and the Central America region, also around the Caribbean plate. So we'll kind of watch that to see how it plays out here overnight. Space weather activity looking like, uh, look at this area. Pretty uh, nice signature there, although the UV filter does not uh, doesn't really give it too much justice here. It looks like we're flaring slightly at uh, some of the upper levels here of that sunspot. Um, let's see what we got here for the uh, magnetic structure of the sunspot region. It doesn't look. It does actually look like it's starting to uh, get a little complex structure here with the different magnetic colors. There's quite a few different areas here that are popping up all of a sudden. Uh, and this is very typical. We do see the sunspot regions just kind of pop up out of the blue and get very complex all of a sudden, uh, literally within hours. So we'll watch this sunspot region here for, uh, for some possibly some inflare activity. It does look fairly complex. Uh, the rest of the area, the one that produced the almost X flare earlier today is just kind of peaking around the southeastern limb here of the sun uh, still don't have a good visual on it but uh, we'll look at that maybe tomorrow morning and see if we can't get a little bit better uh, visual of the structure of that magnetic uh, sunspot right now 95 percent chance for a C flare M flare at 25 X flare uh, elevated here around 5 percent chance no major coronal holes. Uh, we do have a couple coronal holes to the south. One little one here facing us, but it's not going to uh, not provide anything at all uh, in terms of solar flaring acti or uh, solar storm activity. So quiet conditions will prevail across the uh, higher latitudes there for the auroras. Aurora forecast. There you go. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, uh, not a whole lot going on here over the next couple days, but it looks as though day four, day four, uh, looks to be somewhat promising. That's going to be Friday with a uh, at least a 15% chance of severe weather across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and also Arkansas. Uh, it looks as though... Uh, Things are setting up there dynamically uh, for, uh, you know, that that uh, potential for some severe thunderstorms. So we'll watch this uh, as this heads into the end of the week. All right. Uh, what else we have here? Congratulations to Hurricane Heather, uh, our monthly member drawing winner. That was uh, taking place here today. And... Uh, Heather's been a long time member here of the channel, very long time member. Uh, so we're, we uh, definitely appreciate your uh, continued support here on the channel, uh, as well as the, um, oh man, what do we got? We, I think I stuck about almost 80 tickets in the drawing, the drawing bowl today. Um, it's getting up there. We're getting really close to a hundred members uh, on this channel. So that's pretty awesome. We'll continue to, uh, uh, reward those members each month here. Uh, Heather is going to choose the uh, geology mining kit. That's pretty awesome. I think uh, I think Heather will enjoy that. So definitely uh, get that off to you really soon. And of course we'll be doing an, uh, another drawing here coming up in the month of June. 
and we are getting awfully awfully close here uh, to the 100,000 subscriber giveaway uh, I think we're at uh, let's see what we're at here right now um to do to do, 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 do 96 refreshing this 90 oh I lost one subscriber okay come on now <laughs> I just seen I was 90 96 925 I am at 96 924 I should say we are at 96 924 not me uh, because this is basically a channel for all of us and we are getting very close here to 100,000 subscribers and uh, we're gonna be doing a pretty big giveaway to all subscribers not just the members but all subscribers here uh, and we're giving away a, a bunch of prizes I'm uh, a little ecstatic ecstatic about it because uh, we're gonna be picking out 10 members here or 10 subscribers uh, it's not just for the members it's gonna be for subscribers in general everyone uh, that wants to enter into this drawing and we'll go into that more detailed uh, once we get past that 100,000 subscriber mark but 10 people are gonna be picked uh, to win uh, some some pretty good prizes here we've been build, building up um, a few prizes here over the last year or so to give away for this drawing so it's kind of a big deal and I think we're gonna go with a uh, we're gonna do a top prize um, gonna gonna pick 10 people but we're also going to do certain levels. We're going, we're going to do like a level one, two, and three. First, second, and third place, and then uh, after that, we'll re, uh, we'll give uh, prizes uh, to the remainder uh, winners. But the first, second, and third place people will get a little bit more higher prize, so to speak. And and that's still yet to be determined on what we're going to give away. But uh, it's kind of a big one, you know. It's not too often do. Uh, uh, YouTube channels hit 100,000 subscribers, so I'm 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 pretty ecstatic. I haven't hit it yet, um, but it's getting close. So I uh, I definitely appreciate all the um, the positive input, um, the constructive criticism here on the channel. I'm not against someone you know stating how they think maybe something should go. Um, and, and I'm always open to new ideas in terms of uh, making improvements here on the channel. So uh, feel free to shoot me an email at earthmastermail at gmail.com or in, even in the comments here on YouTube. As long as we keep it somewhat civil, uh, YouTube will uh, allow that comment. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to uh, give away some good prizes here coming up. So it's kind of a big deal, folks. I'm getting excited. Uh, YouTube notified me, said that I'll probably hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of July at this rate that uh, we're going right now. So that's that's a that's a big deal, definitely a big deal, and I'm pretty pretty excited here. So uh, I may do even a backflip on camera. Who knows? I probably won't do that. Uh, I don't even know if I can do a front flip. But uh, who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll do something cool. And, and, of course, give away some prizes. All right, folks. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll definitely catch you guys back here sometime tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace out.